and uh, this is a recovery based outfit called Shatterproof started by a father who lost his son to overdose and this is their page on the lock zone eh? got a picture of Jerome Adams anyway we got a little conversation with Mr. Jerome Adams, the Surgeon General. He's an anesthesiologist. He knows all about opioid overdoses because he overdoses people on a hundred different things and the only thing keeping you alive is ventilations or rescue breathing for a layperson. Americans to carry the medication naloxone. It's also called Narcan and it's the drug first responders use to reverse an opioid overdose. I spoke to the U.S. Surgeon General, Vice Admiral Jerome Adams, about why ordinary Americans should be prepared to prevent someone from dying from opioids. Over half of the overdoses that are occurring are occurring in homes, and so we want everyone to be armed to respond. We should think of it like an EpiPen or like doing CPR on someone. Is there any kind of risk in, in having everyday Americans armed with naloxone? I mean, is it difficult to administer? Are there any risks of administering it incorrectly? Do people need training? One of the things that, that we're doing is working with pharmacies, working with providers, working with the American Medical Association and the uh, nursing associations to increase training on how to administer naloxone in homes. But overall, and I'm an anesthesiologist who's administered naloxone many times myself, it is easy to use and uh, 49 out of 50 states have standing orders for people to be able to access and use naloxone in the home setting because it is a safe drug where the benefits definitely outweigh the risk, particularly in the midst of an epidemic. What about paying for it? I mean, this is a medication. Anyway, he knows it's risky breathing. He goes on later in that interview to say diabetes and hypertension. That's a couple more respiratory emergencies. And then you got all this stuff here. Eh. Nasal spray, auto injection, intermuscular. Eh. Breathing. Mm, yes, sir. There's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. And the signs of drug overdose mimic any breathing emergency. And you've got to give them air. ASAP. Naloxone is meant to be a first line defense. No, it's not. It's second line. Rescue breathing is more important than the actual naloxone. It may not work. Poly drug overdose. Overdose mimic. Most important part is rescue breathing. And then you go on a little Mark story here. He's uh, in recovery. Anyway. Yeah, naloxone gets left elsewhere at times too. And they've told the people not to give rescue breathing. Mm, mm, mm. As I'm showing up on scene all the time, parents maltreating their non-drug overdose patients. All these joints prove your heart's beating. Because there's a lot of places that tell you to give chest compressions. Mm. No rescue breathing, give chest compressions. Mm -hmm. Just like the Surgeon General said to do CPR. When you tell the general public CPR, they automatically think chest compressions. No rescue breathing mentioned in here. I know the general manager of a DAP farmer that makes that nasal. He says his hands are tight. And he knows that people are dying. This is out of Harvard, eh? This is how to assemble this nasal spray kit. And she, the Dr. Sarah, she makes one sentence 
uh, you're going to give rescue breathing. <laughs> you're going to give rescue breathing before you give them the naloxone. After, afterwards. Anyway, they've taught millions of people how to kill you all, and they're doing it. Deny rescue breathing is murder by omission. Anyway, and then there's other places will tell you to give chest compressions to people who are alive, and they're doing it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, Mr. Jerome Adams. He's insane. Hey, eh? you heard him. CPR. No, it's not. Hey, eh? you overdose people on a hundred different things. The only thing keeping them alive during surgery is ventilations, isn't it, doctor? Yes. Humans inhale twenty percent oxygen and exhale sixteen percent oxygen, enough to keep any respiratory emergency alive. Read the comment box for and all the links will be there to these guys. <laughs> this is your tax dollar going around teaching murder, <laughs> isn't it? Hey, <laughs> air, air, air. Any breathing emergency, vital.